It's summer in Seattle, and Cary Park is more than just third in Highland. It has a little Hollywood and Highland flavor. The cast of Grey's Anatomy in Seattle for a second consecutive year shooting season 15. Welcome to Seattle. Yay! Are you so bringing the heat every year you come? Apparently. Apparently, that's exactly what we do. We get nothing that looks like what we need it to look like. No gray skies here. The cast is filming in 85-degree weather dressed for fall. What all this weather? You guys are wearing like sweatshirts and jackets. Yeah, all in the name of art. <laughs> <laughs> Katarina Scorsone and Kelly McCreary join fellow cast members Ellen Pompeo, Giacomo Gianniotti, Chandra Wilson, and Kevin <laughs> McKidd for a whirlwind 48 hours of filming. And it's a nice way for us to kick off the show, kick off the season, and remind ourselves where the show is set, because it's set in Seattle. And I've, I've had a blast every time I've come to Seattle. I love this place. Some of the cast in Como Plaza, the home of Grace Lone Memorial Hospital, for the first time. How cool is it to see that? Well, from the top of Space Needle, I looked down and I saw the helicopter pad. I said, I think, I think that's where we landed. <laughs> Filming invaded Pike Place Market and Cary Park, where dozens of fans caught on to what was supposed to be a secret shoot. Hey, guys. <laughs> Excitement is warranted. Midway through this season, Grey's Anatomy will surpass ER, becoming the longest-running medical drama on television. It's pretty mind-blowing to consider all of the TV that's been made over all of these decades, and we are, you know, we'll stand out in that regard, but then people still watch us. As for storylines, fans have their ideas. I'm really excited to see how Jackson and Maggie's relationship goes. I want um, Meredith Grey to win a Catherine Fox award. But what about the writers? Honestly, I wish I could tell you, but yeah, um, we, we I, have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know anything about this season. We'll have to wait and watch Kelly Koopman's Como News.